No. Ah, oh, these dogs, man. No. Are you being kind of good today? I spoke too soon. They're nice dogs, but every time I try to ride past here, they always want to try and grab the trailer. No. Be good. No. No. I'm not scared of you. Come here. Come here. Oh. Whoa. Look at you wagging your tail. Look at you wagging your tail. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I gotta go fishing, guys. Play with you next time. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. As far as dogs chasing me goes, those aren't the worst too. I've had worse and I've got the scars to show it. So I'm out by an airport out here. I'm at the end of the airstrip. Check it out. Small town airport. Now we're facing south right now. We've got a pretty heavy wind to deal with today. 15 and gusting a bit over that. Coming out of the south. So we're, good. we're headed west. It's pushing on me. I'm headed to a spot. I got a little ways to go. It's going to be kind of slow. But hopefully we can find a place on the bed of water I want to fish today that's out of the wind. Come on. I'm coming up on my halfway mark. It's a spot that I commonly use as a hydration station. I always stop here to drink water. Despite that sign, dangerous intersection. Yeah, you're right. From point A to point B today, it's about a five mile trip. So that makes it a 10 mile round trip, close to 10 miles. <clears throat> and the high for today is gonna be about 81. It feels around 78, 79 right now. Pretty warm Texas spring day. Yeah, you're right, despite the wind, let's go. This is this dangerous intersection they're talking about. Four way stop. Got another chaser. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. We're here. Right, this is Keys Creek. Check it out. See how clear it is? We're real close to where it comes out of Lake Holbrook. Let's come over here and look at it. What was that, a turtle? Looks pretty clear over here too. There's a car coming. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna park the bike. I think this'll do. Yeah, you're right. First thing I gotta do is put on a fluorocarbon leader. I'm gonna do 10 pound. I'm gonna fish a jig here. I wanna try this. I've tried this before, this net bait, the pocket chunk. I'm gonna use this. This is green pumpkin. I'm gonna use it as a trailer for a jig. This is the lightest jig that I have. I think that's a good color combo. I think that'll work. We're definitely, definitely gonna need this net today. I bet you're saying, no, not another bass video. It is possible we could get bass here, but the whole reason why I've come down to this creek, first, 
if you look around, I'm sure in this video, you kept thinking, man, it's gonna rain any second. It's gonna rain any, any second. It looks like it, right? The percentages are actually really, 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 really low, but not for tomorrow. It's much higher for tomorrow. It's more likely to rain tomorrow. See how this creek is really clear right now? And you're like, that's not clear. Trust me, it is. It is clear. And tomorrow, it's likely to not be because of the rain. So yeah, I've come down here. We might go to another spot on this creek to do what we came down here for. What did we come down here for? To sight fish, shoe pick. That's why we're here. Maybe the last opportunity this week. And then, you know, after tomorrow morning's rain, it's catfish time. But right now, it's not. It's shoe pick time. Come on. I've never actually fished this spot before. I'm gonna drop this down right here. It's not the, the most clear part of this creek. We're real close to where this comes out of Holbrook's Dam, and that's really clear. But we're gonna explore this area and see what we can do. I do not see any shoe pick here yet. But there are places here where they could be hiding, like along this wall in front of this vegetation front of this vegetation right here there's a lot of bait coming right through here this is where the flow is there's not a lot of flow right now either Nice. Hey, what do you know? Yeah, you're right. Why is that so nice? I mean, it's not that nice, right? This is nice because see this bait right here? See this fish right here? He bit this bait right here. Check it out. When I first got those baits, I was in New Orleans. I was in Southeast Louisiana and I tried and tried and tried I couldn't do anything with them I had two colors the only two colors you could get the green pumpkin and the Alabama crawl and I couldn't get anything with them and some of my other friends down there tried them and they couldn't get anything for, with that bait they got soured on that bait and started just talking mad crazy stuff about that bait how much they hated it because it didn't work I had a feeling that green pumpkin color would work here so yeah you're right it works Oh, oh man, up by the bridge, it's clear. Here it is looking staggy net. Probably still catch though. Because the wind's not that bad right in here, we're gonna switch to a bandito bug, weightless on a, th ought th a three aught. This is a green pumpkin. The longer I hang out here, the more I realize it's gonna be hard to sight fish shoe pick here it's not that visible it's a bit clear but i'm still optimistic because i just saw one break the water over here by the bridge almost underneath it so i'm creeping up real slow i don't necessarily see him but i know he's in the area so let's work this area
Oh. Yes, he got me. I saw him flash me. And then he came back and grabbed me. Come here, buddy. Nice, got him in there. Got him in there, got him in there. Yeah, you're right. Oh, we caught the net too here. Yeah, you're right. Couple pounds maybe. Nice, this is one of my favorite things about when I'm targeting bowfin with artificials. I get these guys too. Sometimes they're good sizes. Nice. He flashed me and then came back for my bait. I saw him do me a broadside flash. Yeah, you're right. I'm pretty happy. And there he goes. Yeah. All right, guys. It is now 6 o'clock or a little bit after. I've decided to situate myself right here on this side of the bridge. I think if I want to sight fish a bowfin today, my chances will be best here because it's the clearest. Also, another reason why I situated myself here is because while I was prodding around and moving around this area of fishing earlier and right now, I see a lot of bait. So I'm thinking that when we get closer to the feeding cycle today, the afternoon bite, that fish will be coming up in this area and feeding because there's a lot of live bait hanging out right in here. And there's already some feeding going on over there. Now, the wind is pretty rough in here, I know, but should still be able to catch fish. Let's see if anything's along the wall over there. Got him. Oh, don't got him. Nice. Another one for the pocket chunk. And <laughs> he's not even a chunk, is he? He's a little chunk. Super shy of a pound. Nice, right underneath me. Just a little guy, but he was just hanging out right down in there. Boom, boom, boom. What do you know? Ho, 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 little guy, settle down. Yeah, you're right, no, maybe a pound. Go on. All right, guys, it is time for me to call it. I got to get out of here. I'm really happy that something that didn't work out for me in the past worked out for me today, the pocket chunk. And I had fun, absolute blast flipping jigs and catching fish, not a lot of fish, but I didn't get skunked and that's always cool. I will definitely come back to this spot and see if I can get a shoe pick here because I've caught a lot of bowfin in this creek before. But until then, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.